1972 in Vietnam. Move out. They were trained to be the best in the worst hell on earth, the Annihilators. Now in 1985, in the back streets of an American city, one of them stood up for justice and paid with his life. And together, his buddies are coming back for the ultimate revenge. Together, they're going to prove they can make a difference. Who the hell are these guys, anyway? The Annihilators. Real battle has only just begun. Soon, every town in America is going to want him on their side. They're the new heat on the street. The Annihilators. Time to nam up and embrace the B-movie all-action goodness that is The Annihilators. A slam-bang bruiser of a blast from 1985 and Roger Corman's New World Pictures. Directed by Charles E. Sellier Jr., the movie opens in Vietnam, 1972. A small unit of risk-taking Daredevil soldiers all mercenaries of mayhem in motion, take out the Viet Cong, destroying their traps and taking down the scourge of the jungle. The scene then jumps ahead to 1985 and Atlanta, USA, where the downtrodden townspeople are hassled and hurt for insurance protection money, as the street gang culture has grown out of control. Even the police force are wary of treading on this turf. Ex-Vietnam vet Joe Nace is a wheelchair-bound survivor of the unit of brothers we get to see at the movie's opening. He tries to still fight back, but one fateful day in his store, he's forced to watch gang members sexually assault and then stab to death a female customer only to then be beaten and brutally murdered himself. Word of Joe's death reaches his old commanding officer, Sergeant Bill Ecker, played by the highly recognisable Christopher Stone, a Chuck Norris countenance and another who won't go missing in action when one of his needs him or all around goes Invasion USA. Bill and three other members of his Vietnam tight-knit group of buddies take up the call to arms as Joe was one of their own and all owe both Joe and team leader Bill for saving their skins many a time back in the Vietnam jungles. The four men crew of battle-hardened Professional Vietnam War vets are the Annihilators, the A-team of action taking it from the Vietnamese jungle to the urban jungle of Atlanta. Time to serve notice. Schlock and load urban retaliation style. Bill and his badass boys slip into Atlanta and integrate with the town people, organising them to fight back. The town trash needs taking out, and the annihilators have the guns, guts, and martial arts moves to make the three main gangs of the Scorpions, the Turks, and Roy Boy Jagger and the Rollers, who run 90% of the racketeering, more than unsettled about their futures. Meanest run to the bad boy bunch is Roy Boy Jagger played with usual precocious outrageousness by Paul Coslow, a regular of 70s and 80s movie and TV shows, largely playing a nasty little piece of work, and here he is, the psychotic punk ringleader. The town trash has littered the area for far too long. Now it's time, Bill and his waste disposal unit dispense of it once and for all. The action 80s ambience bleeds from the screen in this well remastered and rendered in full 1080p HD to Blu-ray presentation. You can see and taste all the grain, grit 
and dogged fight fueled testosterone oozing out of the picture as it plays back its schlock action goodness, like living back in its day. Relish in Bill and the boys rolling around town in a black van, getting the lay of the land and formulating their strike action plan as they identify the threats and prepare to retaliate. With the decent townsfolk instructed with tips to fight back and deployed with a stand together call to arms code for all to heed using a three tap melody of metal hit upon metal. The new war cry against tyranny and injustice. The Annihilators are here and their backup team has the power of the people to support them. The local police are unhappy with talk of a vigilante force in town. Police head Lieutenant Hawkins eyeballs down Bill but when an old street lady who witnessed the murder of the team's fellow soldier and friend Joe tells the Annihilators who was responsible. Any talk of a more legal approach to the situation goes completely out of the window. The Sarge calls upon his team to lay down and follow through his full plan of action, delivering old school NAM style retribution. The streets become a battle zone. Bill and his unit disrupt the gang's routines and when they unwittingly take possession of a truck containing millions of dollars of heroin, Roy Boy flips big time, strutting the street wielding a flamethrower and the Annihilators turn up the retentory heat, delivering some 80s whoop-ass action at its B-movie best. The Annihilators delivers a highly satisfying 6 out of 10 experience to this day. A trash-tastic takedown of 80s action payback. And of course, as always with Arrow Video, the glorious goodness of the piece does not just end with the closing credits of the movie. The special features entertain for a popcorn bucket load more to unwind with after watching the main feature. Not only is the movie very well presented in a nice looking original 185 to 1 clean and pristine print with clear stereo sound, but there is also the bonus delights to behold in the form of two newly shot video pieces with the new heat on the street which has an interview with actor Lawrence Hilton Jacobs. In search of Charles E. Sellier Jr. Interviewing filmmaker David O'Malley talking about the early career of the Annihilators director. A censorship comparison piece showing side by side and separately the two seconds of previously cut material from the 2004 UK DVD release, which is fully restored here, uncut, for this Blu-ray release. It will also close out, of course, with an original theatrical trailer. A fantastic throwback 80s action goodness here, as it was and shall always continue forever to be, thanks to companies like Arrow Video. So if you've got a problem and no one else can help, Maybe you should get the Annihilators. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.